I and Baldon will commit to raising money to sponsor your child at this school all the way. Mm -hmm. Kindergarten through the end of school, I'll pay for the uniforms, the books, the supplies, whatever they need. The only commitment I need from you as the parent and from the school is that you'll try to keep them in school. And the, the motivation for that is, you know, there are a lot of a lot of studies that show that, you know, girls who live in poverty tend to get pregnant earlier. They're more vulnerable to abuse. Like, but the more educated they are and the more stable of an environment you can create, the, the less in their risk is that of, of that. And so I'm very proud to say that early on from 20, you know, 2006 to 2016, I think those are the years. So for 10 years, we sponsored those 26 girls and they grew up and they graduated from school. And every year we would check in every year. The school would send me, I think every six months I would get their little school reports. My mother would sit and read the reports and review them for me. You know, it was like a, a family effort. We'd get little drawings. I'd visit them. We hosted uh, camps and, and, and things. And it was a big commitment to run a child sponsorship program at the time. Mm -hmm. um, I will say that we, we didn't continue that because it was a lot of, you know, a lot of expense behind the scenes and, and, and a lot of work to kind of do that and maintain that. Mm -hmm. um, however, it is one of the things I'm most proud of is that, you know, there are 26 girls today who were living in the slums in terrible conditions that have an education, amazing. elementary school and high school education. Amazing, amazing. Uh, do you give thought to how to scale an idea that is working uh, so it could impact more locations or cities or even countries in this case because some of these ideas would probably be transferable across countries as, as well i would imagine right yeah 